Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are, uh, well, in, in the, the car. car. Um, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes the car is just like a really relaxing place to be. Yeah. And today's theme for the video for Funky Friday, we're going to be answering 10 questions that you guys With asked the us. Yes. So if you guys know, yesterday was International Friendship Day, and I think we're pretty good friends. Yeah. Facts. Your siblings should always be like good friends. Cause you know, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, with no further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so our first question is our favorite sibling memory. Mm. Mine would probably be when we were like really little and we would still like take showers together and baths. Yeah, we would like pour the soap on the bottom and make it like this slip inside and slide around the it's top. very dangerous. Yeah. We got he got injured the first time and then my mom said he couldn't wash up until anymore. Yeah. And it was just me and her, and then I got her. Like I literally busted my head. It's it's really not a not a good game to play, but I, it was fun when we were younger. We're too old now. What about you, Sean? Uh, probably the one like we'd all just sit there and watch like TV, like Disney Channel or like yeah. Disney Junior, like. The Halloween. I was about to say. Up, the camera on Halloween. Oh my gosh. Like, or when like a new movie was about to come yeah. out and it had the countdown with like one hour yes. left. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's stars. so crazy. Because remember like Disney Channel Summer? I was like, we can't watch yes. it because it makes stuff come out yeah. fast. Yeah. Um, I would say not to be cheesy, but my favorite memory is just what we're doing right now with our channel. I feel like this is the closest we've ever been. Like we're intentionally around each other more and we're just like bonding on a different level with our videos and interacting with each other. So this is definitely something that I'm going to remember for a very long time. So uh, number two, favorite thing about one another. Um, I love how Um, I love how confident and headstrong you are in everything you do. Me? Yeah. Aww. Like when it comes to school. Like you just like take everything super serious, which is super important. And then Sean. Um, I love how you always look on the bright side and you're very goofy. So it's true. Um. um Oh, we go. Okay. Um, for Shelby, <clears throat> I love how she's so big on um, what she said, like her determination. Like if she tells you she's about to do something and this is how she's gonna get it done, she's gonna do it. Like I remember, Shelby's not even like she's an athlete, but she's not a basketball player. And she came home and told us that she's gonna be on the basketball team. So we were like, did you try out? She's like, not yet, but I'm gonna be on the team. We were like, okay. And then you know after tryout she came home and she's like i made a team and i'm like what like that's crazy so like she's so big on um she's so big on just like saying she's gonna do something and doing it and sean i really like how sean is he's literally the most non-confrontational person i know like if even if something's happening with all of the siblings like he all of a sudden with all of us he just he doesn't get involved but he's involved like yeah. he finds a way to just stay neutral and i don't know how he does it because i've tried all the time but he's really really good at that so that's true yeah i do keep it neutral sometimes but uh can we see you back there shelby i don't know right i can't tell. okay so my favorite thing about uh i'll go with sydney is maybe her um is most well, likely no, no, no most definitely her drive when she said she's gonna do something like 
I don't know about you guys, but, um, you know, when Sydney was on the bigger end, way back, nobody really believed in her, but we were always there for her. Um, and in a really short amount of time, she really began to, like, really pick it up, lose a lot of weight. You know, the healthy people, way. Yeah, the healthy way. And on top of that, you know, she started going gluten-free, and I was like, I was like, how are you going gluten-free out of nowhere? And she just stuck to it. I was like, dang. Like, she's really determined to do stuff. Also, when she had a concussion, she made honor roll. She was really determined to do a lot of stuff. And with Shelby, I like, um, what gets me with her is she's very, she's really confident in herself. I mean, like, you can't tell her nothing for real. Shit, nothing phases her. So that's probably my favorite thing. All right, we're gonna go get the keys. It's so hot here. All right, guys, so the next question is, so one food you would have to eat for the rest of your life? The AC is on my bed. It's kind of loud. Um, one food to eat for the rest of my life? I'm gonna go with salad, because it's so many different forms and varieties of salad. You can't take my stuff. How are you tired of that? I feel like I could definitely do, like, something, like, really bad for you, like, um chicken tenders or pizza or something like that. I definitely could. You do it to this day. I literally do it. Oh my god, I'm in trouble right now. Alright, um, well, um... The reason being I pick salad is because let's say I want some chicken. I eat some chicken salad. Or let's say I'm in the mood some, for some fruit. Fruit salad. So like this. Pasta salad. Yeah. Dessert pizza. Okay. Alright guys, so the next question is our favorite TV show. Mine is definitely either Riverdale or I don't know. Definitely it's probably Riverdale. Or Gossip Girl. You got it. Yeah. My, oh, my favorite show right now is Martin. That that's my favorite show. That that's the best show. That's it. All right. Well, I got three good shows. I and got, that's a rating. I got um. My favorite show would probably be. I don't watch TV first, so I yeah. probably like Martin. Martin. So I'm just only watching. I don't watch TV. Oh, all right. What is the craziest thing you want to do on your bucket list? Definitely skydiving. Minus swimming sharks. Okay. Like in the cage. Have you not seen all the movies? Movies. I want to do that so bad. Based on a true story. Literally. But, uh, yeah. Skydiving too. Uh, no, actually, I want to go on a roller coaster. Oh, I also want to do cliff diving and like, jump off a cliff into the water. But I would have to learn how to swim first. Yeah. What about you, Sean? Um, go on a roller coaster. All right. Uh, wait, you've never been on a roller coaster for real? That's why I wanted to go to Disney or um, that, that one place. Alright so right, guys, so our next question is your biggest accomplishment. Mine's definitely being an author. Yeah, I was going to say, just having a company being an author at a young age. Yeah. That was easy. Right. Okay, next question is basically what do you want to do when you grow up? Um, right now, I've been looking into being like a psychologist or a... Um, Oh, a psychiatrist or a psychologist. And then, um, what? I don't know what they're called. What? Psychologist? Psychiatrist. <laughs> what is I'm thinking about? Is a psychiatrist? Psychiatrist? <laughs> <laughs> the first thing is a psychiatrist. How do you and want to do it? Thing, it and it is, it's a psychologist. It's, it's just like, because they're so like close together and like how oh, you say oh, it. What's the difference? tongue tied one subscribe prescribes medicine one doesn't good job okay and then the second thing is i want to be a real estate agent okay for me i am in school to be a superintendent but i really want to be able to do our company full-time like yeah. be an entrepreneur um open schools and have like a community center for kids and work with those in the inner city um that's really what i want to be able to do and be a motivational speaker all around the world talking to inspiring children so that they know that possibilities are endless all right, I want to be in the NBA, and I know, yeah, spread the word of God, because, you know, I have that voice as an NBA player, and then I want to go into being a coach, and then I want to be owning a team, slash trainer, so. Period. Yeah. 
My phone's about to overheat, so we need to. Yeah, so the next question is if you could be in any cartoon TV show, what show would it be? For the odd parents. Mine oh. would probably finish and fur. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, your favorite colors. Mine, sky blue, lavender, and then um, mint green. Mm -hmm. Kind of like some fun, but not mm, Right now, mine is definitely. I love the shades of brown. I have yet to wear brown, like how I really want to, but brown, I love it. Um, yellow, and then I also really do like lavender. Both, both and like, I like pastel colors, but yellow, yellow and brown are really up there right now. All right, so my favorite are blue. I've always hated red, but red's really growing on me mm. as a color. Mm -hmm. um, I like, green like neon ish but yeah. not too neon yeah. and then i like i kind of like a chill purple okay so. all right so the next question is what is your favorite drink water mm. <laughs> definitely water but then lemonade that's it mine? no milkshakes sorry milkshakes mine is probably chocolate milk because it's just so good um but like the lactate chocolate milk and then strawberry lemonade Mine is, on, like on a good day, it's water. Because you can't ever be water sometimes. Yeah, water is good, but I'm just saying, like, besides water. But besides water, it would definitely be like a milkshake. Like, y'all ever got that good milkshake? Yes, yeah, like, solid. Pineapple milk? Oh my God. Solid. Yeah. All right. Last question? Okay, last question is what is your favorite book? Uh, um, probably Thank, thank You Wings. wings. Definitely Thank You Wings. So that's what we have for you guys today. Those are 10 questions. Thank you so much for submitting those. Yeah. And we're going to keep doing these vids. We love the questionnaires. And we love you guys. Yeah. So if nobody told you today, we love you. God loves God you even more. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, share at least five people. And remember, think, think it, be it be it. Minus swim with sharks. Okay.